did anything happen from the problem solvers? I like some of those guys. What's, what, who do we have on the New Jersey? I saw him again Josh yesterday. Josh Gottheimer. Josh, he was, he's very reasonable. He's like the opposite of, of the leadership uh, in, the, in the House. Uh, well, but, there's, a, yeah, there's a lot of reasonable people here. Uh, really? And we need more of them to come to the table, I think. Well, um, but nothing's happened uh, overnight that I'm aware of, and we're still, I think, in a very difficult position. You, uh, when we were, I mean, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you were one of the four or five wavering Republicans mm -hmm. a week and a half ago, mm -hmm. uh, Senator, as the, the ones that the supposedly were, were going to abandon ship in terms of the solidarity that, that the President and McConnell were calling for. So is that, was that proof? Should you have been on that list? Well, the reason I was on the list is because I really believe that governing by shutdown is just a no-win proposition. Uh, I predicted early on that we wouldn't shut down, so that's enough of my predictions. Uh, I also f feel that it's, it's just a no-win for the American people, and each side is so dug in that really opening the government I think is important to me. But I, do, I believe we need to have a big package that comes together uh, rather than just picking off one or two different appropriations bills and reopening that. And that's probably why I, uh, because I express my displeasure with the shutdown, uh, calling it useless and other names, uh, that I ended up there. But I'm solidly behind the president in terms of his uh, emphasis on the need for border security. I've been to the border. I've seen it. And uh, I've talked with a lot of the uh, border agents. Well, that's a weird thing. In the same poll where, uh, re where people were blaming Republicans, the the uh, number of Americans that that were that wanted the wall w were, was sharply higher, even though it was blamed on the shutdown was blamed on Republicans. So it was a crazy poll. I I, I don't know why the two sides can't figure a way to. You know, however you want to, whatever language you want to use, you know, where the, where the fence needs repairing, repair it. Where you don't right. need a fence, use something else. Give more, right. there, there's a way to, to write a bill that's about border security and that should be able to satisfy Nancy Pelosi and, and Chuck Schumer and President Trump, but it's not coming because they're, they're both, they both have political gains to be made by, by being in an entrenched position. Well, if you look at what we did here in June in my subcommittee we, and, and, my, and the full appropriations, Senate Appropriations Committee, we wrote a bill that had $1.6 billion for uh, fencing, for walls. We had uh, more detection equipment at the points of entry for drug detection. We had more border agents. Ten Democrats voted for that. And now they're walking away from it and saying they can't support anything for the wall. So when, when you're in that intractable position, when you've already made a commitment to support $1.6 billion and now you're walking away from it, uh, I think the president is, uh, in, in, um, is to hold strong. Uh, he has to hold strong in order to move them off their position. And that's where you see where we are. Do you think the president would, ex would accept that bill, $1.6 billion? Well, we went in and talked to him about the bill, and he felt that it fell short in terms of dollar numbers of dollars for the for the wall and for the uh, the barriers. Uh, at this point, he's still holding strong on his five billion figure, but you know we know that I think he's willing to look at it whether it's over two years or does it include other kinds of security devices such as sensors and other things. And and that's what we keep trying to put forward ideas to make it more inclusive border security, whether it's humanitarian care, whether it's hiring more people, whether it's more sensors, whether it's barrier, right. whether it's replacement. I mean, let's get over how, how the semantics longer, how of How much this. longer are people going to have to read in the paper about government shutdowns, about employees not getting paid? until uh, the Republicans and Democrats and the president can sit down and work this out. Another you know, week, another two weeks, another three weeks? You know, I, it's not going to be this week. And, and so they are going to be reading it over the weekend. And, but Senator, it's going to reach, reach a boiling point. We're not paying our Coast Guard. Before you go, appropriate or inappropriate to delay the State of the Union given the security uh, costs, issues, and the fact that the government is shut down? Inappropriate political ploy. Uh, the, secret, uh, the Homeland Security says the safety issues are a non-issue for them, and um, I think it's just a it's, it's a diversionary tactic that she's put into place to, to not focus on the fact that she's at zero for border security.